Welcome to part two. So I did um, this little painting of a pumpkin and a sunflower with a little sign that says autumn greetings and I am going to turn this into a diamond painting using all my diamond drills that I have left. I found this one where I've got a bunch of different colors in there but none of them were the sparkly colors that I want but that's okay because there's some different shades of brown, different shades of gray. So I'm going to use not only sparkly drills, but I'm going to use the flat regular color ones um, just to give it, I guess, a different kind of dimension. So, so far I've done the pumpkin and I was recording it because it is 103 degrees outside and I only have a fan above my head. I don't know why I did that. I can see it if I do that, but you can't. It's too hot and um, I got an alarm on my pad saying that it was overheating. So I took it inside the house and stuck it in front of um, the air conditioned unit so it could get cooled off. So now we're all cooled off and we're going to get into this. So, so far, like I said, so far I've done the pumpkin and I am working on the petals of the sunflower. So I'm going to see what it looks like so far because I am really excited. This is so fun and so nice look at that oh it's so cute and then i found this big drill that i had that i'm using as the center so in the center of the flower i'm going to do um yellows oranges and reds and as you can see i'm just going down like the petals Let's see if i can get that closer just kind of the center of the petals I don't want to cover up the whole entire painting because I like the painting. That's why I was kind of sporadically trying to do the pumpkin. But you can actually still see the painting. And then this part right here, we're going to do that in like um, different shades of flat browns. And then as you can see, I did little drills on the boards to almost make it look like they're little nails in the board. Okay, so I am going to bring the camera down so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. All I'm doing is Mod Podge. I'm painting it on, then I'm slapping some drills on. So let me get some yellows down here. And we'll work on the sunflower. Oh, I still have some yellows right here. Sorry, I went inside the house because it is really hot out here. So now that I have some yellows in here, I'm going to bring the camera down so you can see my process. Sorry for the shaking. I can only do so much. Okay, let me see if I can get you like one lower and see if that still works. So hang on a sec. I've got this camera set up on like little cubes. They're actually cubes of my paint. What I store my, I'll show you. I use these cigar boxes and I store my paints in there. I try to do it by colors. But anyway, that's what my pad is sitting on. Oh shoot, I just ripped this. That's okay, I got a million of these. Anyway, so let's see if this gets you just a little bit closer so you can see better. And see what I'm doing. So what I did was I took my Mod Podge and I just added a little bit to the lid. I actually should be covering this. Let's do that. This is probably not enough weight, but oh well. Put my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. So what I'm doing with the petals. It's like, okay, so this is going to be an outside petal, so I want to do a strip here. Well, this got dried really fast with this fan going, so let's do a strip here. Set this down because you got to kind of work fast, especially, like I said, with this fan going. Sometimes they want to come off, sometimes they don't. Okay, 
And so because this is an outside one, I want to add another strip right here. Come on. There you go. I guess the good thing about having longer fingernails is I can just kind of pop them off if they don't want to come off on their own. But I think what happens is I get a lot of that Maj Podge glue on the end of these, which is another good thing about getting these little tools with every kit. I've really found different ways to make good use out of them. We go and we just did that one right there right there okay so now we're going to move on to the next outside one which would be this one same thing i kind of want to just put a line right here I want to call my mom so bad, but today is Sunday and my mom doesn't answer the phone on Sundays, but oh, I can't wait till tomorrow till my mom watches this video because this is really a cute idea. And like I said, it's an awesome way to do something with these drills. So I'm going to need a little bit more yellow. Add some more yellows to my tray. I'll add quite a few. Okay, so I'll turn it this way. And... This one, I think I'm only going to do one strip. There's some of them that I want to do two strips. Some of them I just want to do one. Because like I said, I don't want to lose the actual painting that I did. I just want to make it a little jazzier. Okay, so this one, same thing, just going to do one line, and I do like to put it on a little thick. The good thing about it is this completely dries clear. When I first started doing the pumpkin, I mean, I really laid it on, see how it looks like right there. See the white, how it really looks thick, it clears. Because, I mean, look at the pumpkin. You can't even see. Sorry that I threw that in your face so fast. Another thing that I want to do is I'm going to finish first doing a Four Seasons one. So, obviously, the next one I'm going to be doing is winter. And I will hang these in our house on a wall. Probably maybe in the hallway where I want to do, like, a family pictures. And I will keep the Four Seasons one on that wall. Right there. That just looks like it needs one right there. Okay. Just moving it around a little. I'm going to swipe this right in here. Kind of patting it to make sure that I get a lot stuck there. Or a lot left. Come on.
If I talk to the drills as if they're listening to me. So today we went to, um, after I got done painting, Billy wanted to go into town, so we went into Big Lots. And I found the frame for Fern's Bunny, because I get to see Fern on Tuesday. I'm so excited. Can't wait to actually meet you in person, Fern. Give you a big hug. Take a picture with you and hand you over your bunny. So as soon as I get done with these, I'll show you the frame that I picked up for her bunny. But anyway, um, we went to Jamba Juice. And if you guys have a Jamba Juice or one of those juice stores, I'm telling you the best one they make is the orange cream dream because it just it tastes just like one of those orange sickles but I know a lot of people don't have a Jamba Juice but we don't get them that often it's just it's stinking hot today and since we were going to be out and about I wanted to get one and then I came home started working on this drank all my Jamba Juice and now, I put straight cranberry. It's good to keep hydrated on days like this because, man, it is really hot. Okay, so this one's going to get another line. You know, this almost reminds me of, and I can't actually wait to do the Christmas or the winter one, which is the one I'm going to do next. I think I'm going to add a little bit more things to the Christmas one. I actually have some of that translucent glitter, that white kind. So I think I'm obviously going to do some kind of like snow scene, but it won't have... Um, Santa. It'll probably have, you know, snowmen, what have you, because snowmen are something that you can't do all winter. But I think what I'll do is I'll put not only some diamond drills, but I'll put some of that white translucent glitter in with the snow. And maybe I'll try to figure out a way. Maybe I could just do it with the diamond drills, but you know, like when they used to give the Christmas cards, it was probably, I would say, maybe, mm, I would have to say 20s to 50s. I might be wrong, but um, they're my favorite kind of cards. They're the kind that, um, like, I remember when they had, like, the Christmas tree on the front of the card, and then they had kind of that silver sparkly that kind of outlined, like, the tree or... They had the white, you know, iridescent glitter stuff that, excuse me, went into the snow. I love that look. So, for my winter one, I'm definitely going to go for more of that look. Because that look is my favorite. I don't know why, but I just, I think it's cool. I love those cards. I remember seeing those cards when I was a kid. And I've always loved them. There's just something about them that make them look so festive. Festivus. As who used to say that, was that Kramer or George on Seinfeld? That was the new holiday was Festivus. <laughs> okay, so then I'm going to come out of here. Oh, my eye. I heard it from in my eye. Probably something blowing around from the fan above my head. God, I think I gave myself just enough. No O's. No. Looks like I have to drill that. It's not going to work. Mm -hmm. I think actually I'm going to add a little bit of oranges or maybe even reds to the bottom part. 
part of this. Let's see. I can get any oranges. That one might be a little too much, but that's okay. Okay. So there's the flower. And of course the pumpkin. So let's see, moving on. I have these black ones that were left over. And I actually, it's kind of strange that I got a lot of these left over. So I'm only going to use a couple because I don't know if I'm going to need them for an actual diamond painting that I'm doing. So you never know. So for this... I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go over here and just kind of pop this in. Try to lay these around to look like seeds. I just love art. It's the fun thing about art is like in your mind, you can think of things that you want to do or you see things that you think, wow, I can really modify that to make it look the way I want it to look. That's what makes art so fun. Oops. I really wish that I'm allowed to play music. I don't know if I'm allowed to because I really don't have that many subscribers, but I'm just afraid that I don't want to get in trouble for anything. But it's like I see a lot of other channels do music, and I just I don't know how you could do that. I really do love music. But that's okay. I find my little tunes to play in the background for this stuff. Ah! I think that looks pretty good. I think I want to add maybe what's these two colors. Oh, the blue. That'll be nice. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
cute.
Hey. What? I'm you're recording. Start... What? I'm recording what? What's that? What time are you going to start making dinner? I don't know. In a couple minutes, babe. I'm almost done. Well, it's, it's almost thought out. But it's okay, thanks.